Hello, my name is Jack and welcome to episode 4 of Minecraft RP Prisons with FaceCam, it's my friggin' face. I thought, you know, I may as well try FaceCam, um, and if it gets a good response from you guys, then uh, we shall do FaceCam for every episode. So let me know down below uh, by leaving a like and just showing a supportive comment if you want to see more of uh, my face, and I'm going to be very self-conscious about my hair all throughout this video, uh, so I apologise for that. Um, so let's just start off this episode by taking a look at how the uh, battle top has changed, and is changed a hell of a lot. Uh, it's pretty cool to see Mine 11 Times up here. Uh, he's another name that I recognise uh, from my sort of other series and whatnot, so uh, shout out to him. Anyway, what we're going to be doing in today's episode is we're going to be uh, telling a little story, which is kind of funny, um, about this one time when I got uh, way, way too drunk. Um, um, but first, I just want to sort of explain a few changes that we've done to the server. Um, the Probably the biggest being that we've added MCMMO, uh, because basically I asked you guys in the last episode if we should add that, and uh, we got a very large large quantity of you guys that said uh, we should add it, so it's now been added to the server. We've also added the ability to um, create shops on your plots, so that's pretty cool. And we've also added an arena, so that's pretty damn cool. Right, so anyway, um, I suppose I should get started on my little drawing story type thing so this isn't where I sell stuff it's it's over here so basically um, uh, before I start I just want to very quickly say that I am at legal drinking age in the UK um, but I do not condone but you should always drink responsibly so I just want to point that out which is something that I unfortunately did not do um, particularly successfully anyway so basically there was this event uh, where I live um, called oh what the hell did I just do enchant sharpness one well, I've just I've just given sharpness one to my starter pickaxe, so uh, nice one, Jack. Uh, also, something I want to very quickly mention is I'm an absolute idiot. And um, basically, I was like, uh, no, it looks like this starter axe is is actually better than this cloud pickaxe. No, it's it's not, Jack. You you should probably learn, uh, you know, how Roman numerals work. So uh, we'll swap that over. Uh, that's very embarrassing of me. Um, I've also just put sharpness on it. So yeah, there's this event um, called uh, Carnage that happens maybe like every couple of months or so, and it's basically there's like five or so clubs that uh, take part in this carnage type thing and it's basically just like a sort of pub crawl drinking session type thing um, and there's always lots of people out and there's always a theme as well um, and basically this time's theme was uh, pyjamas so because it was pyjamas uh, me and I guess I think there was like five of us or so me and the five friends that I was with all decided that uh, we would go out in onesies so um, maybe I should show you my onesie yeah you know what I'm going to show you my onesie. <laughs> I'll be right back. Here it is. So, it's actually, it's a mushroom. <laughs> Look at that. It's a mushroom onesie. It is, it is literally a mushroom onesie. I feel like maybe I should wear it. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, so yeah, anyway, I wore um, this mushroom onesie for the entire night, um, which was pretty awesome. I uh, got lots of funny looks everywhere, because obviously, you know, no one knows what a mushroom is in real life. That it's uh, I literally... So many people were like, "Hey, look at that cow!" And I was like, "I'm not, I'm not a cow. Can you, can you please not do that?" But anyway, you know, we were having a really good night. Um, I was dancing about because even though I can't dance, uh, to be honest, I'd go as far as to say I'm the worst dancer ever. Uh, I just don't really know what I'm doing. I don't know where my arms are supposed to go. But by this point, I was rather intoxicated, so it didn't really matter, and I didn't really care um, how much of an idiot I looked. Obviously, this was all happening, so I was dancing really, really badly while stressed as a mushroom, so uh, that's sort of like an added thing to it. So yeah, I was just having a really good time, but suddenly, I wake up. Where the bloody hell am I? I'm on, I'm on a settee, uh, which is a which is a couch uh, for you American people. I don't know where where I am. Um, I really really need the toilet, like like desperately need the toilet. I get up. I realise that I'm over at my friend Joe, not Turkey Dinosaur, my other friend Joe, I'm over at uh, where he lives. And I was basically asleep in like his dining room area type thing, um, but I really really needed the toilet. And I was very very tired and still kind of drunk at this point I think. Um, so I didn't know where the toilets were, obviously when I'm sober I know exactly where the toilets are, they're in uh, each person's room. But I went into somebody's room. Uh, still dressed as a mushroom, by the way. I just want to point that out. I've no, I had no idea what time it was when this happened. Um, I went into someone's room. I'm hoping it was my friend Jaws rather than just one of his like random flatmates. Um, and I attempted to use his toilet, but because I was still rather intoxicated and very confused as to what was going on, I wasn't. <laughs> Why am I telling the internet this? I wasn't able to to actually use the toilet. So I believe I just urinated in my onesie. <laughs> uh, 
so that's kind of awkward. Um, but I didn't care at the time. I was just like, well, you know, it was just a little bit damp. It wasn't like absolutely drenched or anything. Uh, so I went and laid back down. Oh my goodness, I forgot the most important part. Um, one thing I forgot to mention was when I went to go to the toilet, I couldn't walk. Uh, yeah, I don't know why, but my foot... Well, I do know why now, but my foot didn't actually, um, like, work properly. So that's always a little bit uh, kind of awkward. Um, so I sort of hopped over to the toilet, uh, which made urinating even more difficult. Two hours later, I'd sort of woken up properly, and my friends sort of came into the room, um, and they explained to me what happened, because I had, like, no memory of what had occurred um, after, like, maybe 1am or something. Um, so I had no idea how I'd gotten there, and am I trapped in with this guy? Nice one. So basically, they explained that everything was going very well, and suddenly, I just turned. Now, I'm a really nice person, a very, very, well, at least I think I am, very gentle, very, you know, quiet and all that kind of stuff in, uh, in real life. Um, but not when I'm drunk, apparently. Apparently, I'm very, very aggressive, uh, <laughs> which uh, might surprise you. So basically, lots of things had happened. Um, I got very, very drunk all of a sudden. Not entirely sure what caused that, but um, I apparently was just waving my arms around randomly, um, which was causing me to hit people in the face. My friends had to keep apologising to people because lots of people wanted to like punch me because I was hitting them in the face accidentally. Which you know, it's understandable that you'd be that you'd be mad if like a guy in a, dressed as a mushroom that repeatedly slapping you. So I can understand that. Um, and then I decided um, that it would be a cool idea. To jump down some stairs. Apparently it was uh, 10 steps worth of stairs. Bloody hell, there's like everyone here. Uh, yeah, it was apparently 10 stairs, so I was just like, I'm gonna jump down that. And before my friends could stop me, I jumped, I hit the floor, and apparently I just landed like a sack of potatoes, just lying just flat on the ground, and I was unable to walk. So my friends had to kind of I say walk, walk me home, they kind of, they basically carried me. Joel um, actually did literally carry me for like quite a lot of the journey home, uh, so big shout out to him. Um, oh, also, one thing that I forgot to mention is one of the clubs that we saw that was part of uh, Carnage was called the Frickin' Mushroom. So I'm going to put a selfie up on screen. Well, that's, that's not actually a selfie, but it's a photo that uh, someone took of me dressed as a mushroom, stood in front of a club called the Mushroom, which is the coolest thing ever. But yeah, my foot really, really hurt the next morning. I literally was in a able to walk. Um, also, apparently at some point in the night, we um, I ate a kebab um, that a girl, that a random girl gave me. I have no idea who she was. Um, but that's even more astonishing because I don't actually eat meat. But apparently I eat meat when I'm uh, drunk, so, so that's a thing. And then later on, I apparently kicked it out of her hands. So I apologise if you're watching, um, madame. Uh, I pro she probably isn't, let's be honest. But if you are, then I'm sorry for, uh, like, eating a bit of your kebab and then kicking it out of your hands. Um, another thing that I did, apparently one of my friends gave me a raw onion and I just munched on that. I saw a lot of Snapchat stories the next morning that were just me uh, doing stupid, stupid things. And I think I've just broken this. Whoops. My bad. <laughs> sorry about that, sir. Can you, uh, start? There we go. But yeah, you should have seen my foot the next morning. In fact, you can see my foot the next morning because I'll post a picture of it uh, on the screen now. It was incredibly, incredibly slow, uh, swollen. Fortunately, I would been on crutches before um, because of something dumb I'd done in the past. So I actually had some crutches already. So I basically just walked around on crutches for a week. Fortunately, nothing was broken. It was just like really, really badly sprained because I did go and get an x-ray uh, at the hospital and stuff. Um, but obviously, when I woke up, I was over at my friend's house rather than my own house. Um, and I needed to get home, but I couldn't walk. Uh, so still dressed in a onesie, a onesie that um, was damp uh, around the crutch area. My friend Joe literally carried me from his flat to my flat, which is mental. <laughs> so I'm going to post another picture of that on screen now, so uh, hopefully you find some amusement of that. So yeah, that's just about it. So just a little funny kind of story. Um, hopefully you found this kind of interesting. Uh, let me know what other kind of topics and stuff you want to see uh, from me, if you want to hear more stories, because don't worry, I have an awful lot of them. Why am I dressed in this onesie? Uh, it has been cleaned since I urinated in it. I just want to point that out. Um, although there is actually a pizza stain on it, so I've no idea how that got there. Um, I think we may as well um, rank up because I'm pretty sure we've got enough money by now. Um, and it looks like mine 11 times is just ranking up so much right there. He has got a crap ton of money. Uh, anyway, slash rank up. And I'm now E, so let's warp to E. Um, and then I guess, what's our balance? Oh my goodness, look at E. E's cool. 
He is completely different to all of the others. It's like probably like Desert and stuff. This is awesome. I like this. Uh, thank you. Uh, so slash ball balance is. 109 million, so that is absolutely awesome. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think that'll do for today's episode. So I want to say thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed my story. Let me know if you want to see more face cam. Uh, and also let me know if I should um, tell more stories like this. And also if you've got any suggestions for Sky Kid, then tell me what they are. Uh, Jenny, please, can you can you not do can you not do that, Jenny, please? It's it's rather rude, really. <laughs> Get down from there. Anyway, guys, uh, oh, I'm not activating Twitch broadcasting. Thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you guys next time. Bye.